Good afternoon. Yesterday afternoon at about 3.30 p.m. on the Augusta Highway near Baruta, a vehicle left the road and collided with a tree. Tragically, as a result of that collision, a 40-year-old male and a 61-year-old female, both from Wyala, died at the scene of that collision. A 14-year-old boy and an 11-year-old boy were subsequently airlifted to Adelaide for treatment, and I can tell you that the 14-year-old boy remains uh, with life-threatening injuries. I'd just like to remind the community of South Australia of the consequences of road trauma. It must be reiterated that the consequences are often lifelong. It affects family, it, it affects friends, it affects loved ones, work colleagues and quite often communities. So I implore people to be cautious, drive safely and consider the consequences and implications of your actions when you're using our roads because they are significant and as I said, quite often lifelong consequences. My understanding is that they left Wyala to go to Port Pirie to pick up um, a birthday present tragically and uh, the two people that lost their lives are mother and son. That's right. At what stage um, is the investigation in terms of determining why this car may have left the road? Look, it's in the early stages, but clearly the vehicle has um, left the road, moved onto the incorrect side of the roadway and collided with the tree. So, as I said, it's very early in our investigation and we're working through that. Any witnesses? My understanding is no, there were no witnesses to the collision. So I guess that if anybody has any dash cam leading up to that collision or can assist police in any way during the investigation, I'd ask them to ring Crime Stoppers. What are some of the factors that lead to a single car crash? Look, there can be a number of factors, and I don't want to speculate um, specifically about the collision yesterday, but it can, be, um, it can be excessive speed, it can be fatigue, it can be the conditions of the environment at the time. It can be a whole raft of things. And as I said, I'm not speculating uh, on what the cause was yesterday. We're just not in a position to comment on that. You said on the boring stretch of road, does anything need to be done for safety on that stretch of road? From an infrastructure point of view, obviously there's been a number of announcements in terms of upgrading infrastructure on rural roads. It is a notorious piece of road, unfortunately. Uh, and clearly we are aware of that. We have a highly visible police presence um, on that highway because we know how dangerous it can be. So if you're using that stretch of road, you need to make sure that you're well rested and that you drive to the conditions and that you're alert. There were no skid marks on the road. That's my understanding. Will police investigate whether this may have been deliberate? Is that in any form part of the investigation? Look, we do a full investigation into every collision where somebody is seriously injured or there's a life lost and my investigators are very thorough and we'll do that in this particular situation we'll determine to determine what the cause of the collision was. The number of lives lost is at 60 compared to 55. That's a substantial jump from last year we say to people on the roads. As I've said, the consequences for people that are seriously injured on the roads or people that lose their lives, the consequences for their loved ones, their work colleagues, the communities, uh, it can be life long. And I'd ask people to consider that before they act recklessly on our roads because at the end of the day, nobody needs to die on South Australian roads. Is the 11 year old helping police piece together those final moments? Well, the 11 year old will be part of the police investigation. Him I'm not in a position to say that. I don't believe we have because uh, of his condition, but we certainly will speak to him. Commenting on this particular crash, which has claimed the lives of two generations uh, and a third is critical, um, just how tragic is this specific incident? It's, it's obviously a tragedy. Um, a wife has lost her husband, she's lost her mother-in-law, um, and she has two of her children that are seriously injured. They live in Wyala. Wyala is a relatively small and intimate community. Um, so, as I said, I think people often just look at lives lost as a number and don't actually spend the time 
to reflect on what that actually means and the consequences for families that are involved. And it's not just people that lose their lives, it's people that are seriously injured as well. Because quite often, the quality of life for those people changes forever. I can't comment on that, I don't know. It's certainly, they live proximate to where the collision occurred, so I would assume that they've travelled that road, yes. But I don't know that as a fact. You mentioned the birthday present. Is there anything more you can say about that? Was it somebody's birthday tragically in the car? I don't know. Um, all I know is that apparently they were heading to Port Pirie to pick up a present. Are there also 11-year-old remains in hospital? My understanding is 11 year old still in hospital, yes. Are there babies born to young boys? would um, you know, eventually come to learn that they had lost their father and their grandmother? Look, it's going to be absolutely devastating. You've got an 11-year-old and a 14-year-old that now have the prospect of going through the rest of their lives without their father and uh, without their grandmother, and that's, uh, that's very sad and that's catastrophic. How about the impact of this on first responders and police who turned up with this scene? Look, attending any road trauma is, uh, has an impact on first responders. While it's um, in part of their job and that their role that they perform every day, clearly uh, people are very uh, affected and empathetic by what they see in these situations, particularly what the consequences mean going forward. Look, not really. Um, if you look at the, the statistics, um, the reality is that more collisions occur during daylight hours than they do during the hours of darkness. Single car even? Yes. Any others? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.